Moving right now on first of four, the search continues for a little girl who was swept away by floodwaters on Friday. You are looking at new video of the vehicle where six people, including a man, woman and four children, were rescued from the creek in Tonto Basin last Friday after it flooded. That heart wrenching scene of the submerged truck coming after a massive storm flooded the Tonto Basin on Friday. The storm and subsequent flooding swept three children away. The bodies of two of those small children have now been found. And now a massive search is underway for a six-year-old girl who is still unaccounted for. Here's the facts that we know at this point, folks. The six-year-old girl who is still missing, her name is Willa, and right now hundreds of volunteers and about a dozen agents are still looking for her. She disappeared in floodwaters on Friday. She went missing with two other kids, and later a five-year-old boy and a five-year-old girl were found dead in the basin after the flood. This is all unfolding in Tano Basin, about 90 miles from Phoenix, or about an hour and a half drive. To give you a better idea of where it is, it's northeast of Apache Junction between Roosevelt Lake and Pumpkin Center. The vehicle was submerged in the flood water in the Tano Basin. The search now focusing on an area near Bar X Road. And Team 12's Michael Dow now joining us live now in the Tonto Basin, continuing our team coverage tonight. Michael, what can you tell us? Well, those here now are now entering the fourth day of the search for this six year old girl. Now on Friday, it was those six family members who were able to get to safety, but the three children who have been the subject of the search well, were swept away by the waters. After the bodies of those two five year old children were found on Saturday, the search for the six year old Willa continues today and the focus so far has been on piles of debris. It's all over the miles between this crossing and Roosevelt Lake. They've had four dog teams out here searching for scents as these pile of debris often filled with mud and twigs and roots have often been dismantled by hands when machines have not been available. Now you can take a look at this other video which shows the vehicle the family was stuck in as it was pulled out of the water. Now, authorities say this truck got stuck in a hole unseen beneath the water when all this ended up occurring. Now, Randy Roberson was the one who took this drone footage of the removal and was part of the search. His son was among those who found one of the five year old children on Saturday. Nobody wants to see a little child uh, die this way, and it's, it's, it's been horrific for everybody over here. It, it's, uh, it cast a really uh, dark light on a normally happy Thanksgiving holiday weekend. And we expect to hear much more about how the search has gone today in about 30 minutes as the Sheriff's Office will give another update. For now, we're live here in Tonto Basin. Michael Doudna, 12 News. Just breaks your heart, Michael. Thank yeah. you.